What's going on folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Today's video I'm going to be talking about why a canoe is superior to the kayak when it comes to waterfowl hunting. Um, so guys, if you follow the channel, then you know that I've used big boats, I've used kayaks, I've used canoes, I've used it all. I have somewhat of a boat obsession and this year I am super excited to add another addition to the fleet. We got the Radisson uh, canoe. So. It is awesome. Uh, some of you guys in Michigan might be more familiar with Sports Pal. So this is like the Canadian version of it, uh, but it is a killer. It is a killer duck hunting vessel, and I'm so excited to get into season and using this. This is the first night I have it out on the water, testing it out. But before we jump into it, guys, if you're new here, make sure you hit that sub button. Got tons of waterfowl content coming at you. The main gig of the channel is putting out those waterfowl hunts from September through February. We got early goose. Got duck hunting, traveling around, chasing the open room. We got late season. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited for it. Also, if you enjoy duck hunting audio content, check out the Duck Hunt Podcast, one of the biggest and best podcasts out there when it comes to waterfowl. Alrighty, guys, let's jump into the video. So, like I said, we're gonna be talking about why this canoe, why canoes for duck hunting are superior to kayaks. Um, so there's a time and a place for everything, and there's different, it's all about having all the tools in your belt when it comes to waterfowl hunting, whether you're um, going to be uh, running the kayak, the canoe, a big boat. Um, you know, I, I like to have I like to have all the options. So this is definitely one of those uh, that I'm putting in my my tool belt. So um, I'm going to go over the pros with you guys on this. So the first thing is the weight capacity on a canoe is just that much greater than a kayak. To put it in perspective, guys, uh, one of my favorite hybrid kayak canoes is the Old Town 119. It is a 19 foot or 11 foot 9 inch uh, little hybrid canoe. It is fast. It's nimble. It weighs like 55 pounds, 56 pounds. Um, and it is killer for those micro little setups. Well, the, the downside to that is like the weight capacity on it. It's around 250 pounds. Well, that's about me. So I've gone with gear, chief, myself, I've gone way over that weight capacity. Not necessarily the safest choice, uh, but it gets the job done at times. But the biggest pro to this canoe is that the weight capacity on it is 850 pounds. So uh, this thing is a 14 foot little beast and it also weighs 53 pounds. So it's lightweight. You can throw it up on your shoulders, carry it over your head um, and get there and go. And you can put a ton of stuff in here. Uh, the only downside to that is you got a lot more to paddle. But you know, pros and cons, you don't have to take a lot. You can take a micro setup in this as well. Uh, but when you want those big setups, you can go for it. So the next pro I got is that you can run a motor on this canoe. Uh, you can run a motor on most canoes. Uh, canoes, if you want to run just a trolling motor, they got the uh, plate you can run right through here and run it off the side. Um, for this one, it's a square back, so I run it off there on the back. I actually got a bunch of buddies in Michigan that run these. The Kevins swear by it. Uh, I know Matt and John both run one. John, uh, he's been running a little twister motor on the back of his and but you can run little six and a half horse mud motors on here no problem and it's going to zip you around it, it those weigh about as much as a trolling motor and a battery uh for those so you run pool start not electric start on that and you will be in business so um that is definitely another pro that you can run a motor on these rigs the third thing is if you are a dog hunter putting a dog in and out of the canoe um can be a lot more stable a lot more roomy um you don't have to worry about that capacity again getting the dog up there in the front that's how chief and me got started running in a canoe and it was awesome since i switched to the kayak and there's definitely some issues when it comes to hunting with a dog in a kayak now i know elliot my buddy from freelance duck hunting he does it he lays out they paddle <coughs> they paddle out there but man i, I know that for myself um, it can be a struggle, especially uh, some of these mucky places where you can't touch bottom, you can't be dragging your stuff, you're just out there in rivers and all kinds of stuff. So for me, I definitely think that a canoe is superior when it comes to hunting with a dog. All right, so next thing I'm going to talk about is price. Guys, there's a lot of different kayaks out there from Sun Dolphins to the Old Towns, which are some of like the cream of the crop. I love my Old Town canoes that I hunt with. Um, you know, Sun Dolphins, you know, they're, uh, they're not stable. They're pretty cheap. So if you're going to go with a good solid canoe, I mean, there's the old towns and there's the Ascend H12, which is super popular among duck hunters. Um, and those run like brand new. 
they're uh, 650 plus. So I know I got mine that I personally have. I got it for $650. Um, so that's a one man vessel. That's how much you're running it for. You can't really find them cheaper, much cheaper at all. If you do, you're finding uh, a steal of a deal. So in comparison, I got this. It's a two man vessel and uh, I got it for just a few hundred bucks. Now, brand new guys, they are they are pricey, just like an old town or anything else. Um, but there's just a lot more canoes around that you can get um, at a lower price. So you know, entry level, that's a, a definitely a solid boat to go with, going with a canoe, um, and highly recommended. Uh, and for the price, so the price, I definitely think that canoe gets you a better bang for your buck. Like I said, two people, which kind of leads me into my my uh, my next thing. I think I'm on uh, reason number four that the canoe is superior to the kayak. And uh, reason number four is uh, all to do with the fact that you can run it with just two. You can run it with two people, whereas with the kayak, you're kind of stuck going solo so if you got people that don't hunt a lot um, and you only want own one one vessel well this is a good way to go um, because you can get multiple people out there whether you're trying to take nephews or brothers or dads or whoever it is buddies at work whoever it is you've got another option to take more people when it comes to canoe than a kayak and you only have to take one thing in the truck all that all that good stuff so that's number four all right, so I know this is all about why it's superior, but I wanted to not end this, you know, I want to be aware of what I'm saying. So um, there is a couple things that I would give uh, the green light to the kayak being better than the canoe. And the first thing that comes to mind is layout hunting. Um, the canoe, there are people who hide and try to hunt out of canoes. I've done it myself standing in it and cattails or, or whatnot, and we've done pretty well. Um, but when it comes to hunting places like Smartweed, which, you know, here on the river, I'm actually going to pass one of my favorite hunting spots and there's smart weed, smart weed um, growing up in that. If I was going to hide in that, um, you know, in the canoe, it just wouldn't work. You're going to stick up too high with a kayak and a layout blind, that kind of setup that, you know, some people run with the H12 uh, layout, pop out right there in amongst the smart weed. It's a really cool way to hunt. The canoe is really not compatible with that because your profile is just going to be too high. So that's definitely one thing to consider. And secondly, um, it is definitely a little harder most of the time to uh, paddle a canoe compared to a kayak. And harder, I mean, you're going to exert more energy for the distance and speed you go. It's just more surface area. You're going to have more stuff in it. Um, it's more like paddling a bathtub <laughs> compared to, uh, you know, something else that's um, a lot smaller like those. Uh, like we talked about the solo 119 that thing just flies sits right on top of the water cuts through it this thing not as much which you know we talked about the motor if you run a motor you take that out of the equation so anyways guys that's all i got for today hope you guys enjoyed this canoe versus kayak uh superiority video i know i'm going to get a lot of comments in the the video section anyways guys uh that's it that's all i got for today i'm jordan duck and chronicles and we'll see you guys on the next one let's go